What's up, YouTube? Welcome to our channel. I am Daddy Karan. And I'm Mommy Shelly. <laughs> I'm the Sire. I'm, I'm Jaden. I'm Casey. <laughs> and we are our family. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Welcome back to our channel. We're Welcome gonna review back. Jeremiah. Yes, yes, amen. All right, come on, Casey. Let's sing. We have Jesus. Exodus, Leviticus, and Numbers, Deuteronomy, and Joshua, Judges, and Ruth, 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, 1 Kings, 2 Kings, 1 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastic, <laughs> Song of Solomon, Isaiah, and Jeremiah. Jeremiah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. she, she done. Did you miss any? Isaiah, Jeremiah. No, we're in the book of Jeremiah. All right. You took my pencil out. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, All right. So welcome back. We're gonna do a quick review of the book of Jeremiah. Yes. So Jeremiah was a prophet mm -hmm. called by God. Yes. He was called at a young age too. Yes. And um, you know. I, I, oh, honey, we didn't pray. Whew. Let's pray, guys. Getting ahead of ourselves <laughs> here. <laughs> also, and also, Happy Father's Day, all the fellas. We're doing it a little bit late today. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Lord, we thank you. We honor you, God. You are worthy. There is none like you. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord God, for your word. Father, we pray now that your word, O oh God, will manifest in our presence. We thank you. We give you praise for all those that will be watching, Lord. Let this re review, O oh God, be a blessing to your people. We give you thanks and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Slow down now. All right. So, Jeremiah, mm -hmm. so while some people are calling to God's service as children, and that's in 1 Samuel 3, Jeremiah was commissioned as a prophet to the nation even before he was conceived. Wow. You know that scripture that, that was... said he knew you even before you were born? By the womb, Right. Yes. So, that's Jeremiah. God, God knew him before he was even born. Wow that he's a prophet and he was called to do the work of the lord amen. amen amen so so from the beginning god left no doubt jeremiah would face stiff opposition mm -hmm. they will fight against you but you will not you will not overcome you right right they will not overcome him they will fight against you but will not overcome will not. you right. amen because once god is with them yes yes Amen. If God be for you, who can be against who you? So in Jeremiah, the call of Jeremiah, it contains the basic element, um, a vision, a commission, uh -huh. objection of unworthiness, mm -hmm. and promises of God's protection over his life. Yes. So he felt unworthy. He felt that he was too young. Mm -hmm. And... He wasn't sure if they were going to receive him, and he sure did. You know, you're doing something for the Lord. You're going to face opposition. Yes, because the enemy going to always come yes. try to knock you off of, of the Distract mission. you. The mission that God placed you on, but yeah, stay on the journey. Don't be distracted. Don't let the enemy knock you off the plan of God. Amen. Yes, Um. in chapter 1, verse 4, the call of Jeremiah, it says, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Mm -hmm. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nation. Right. All right. And also, listen, Jeremiah 29 and 11 said, um, I know the plan that I have for you, say the Lord. As mm -hmm. you said, the Lord knew him before mm -hmm. he was even born. I know God have a plan for you. I know the plan I have towards you, say the Lord. A plan of good, not of evil. Plan to give you a hope and a future and an expected end. end. Amen. Yes. God has planned for your life. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So in Jeremiah, it was judgment, mm -hmm. the new covenant, faithfulness. Right. So the judgment, God always judge unconfessed sin. Yes. 
whether it has been committed by his people or pagan nation god told jeremiah i will pronounce my judgment on my people because of their wickedness mm -hmm. for forsaking me right god is going to always judge sin as, yes. as a faithful god that he is god who hates sin praise god and god who sent his son jesus christ in place to die for sin mm -hmm. to destroy sin so god is going to always judge sin um um so you know for, for us to come out of sin yes. and turn from our wicked ways, praise God. So God can always judge sin. So make sure that, praise God, that as you live your life, mm -hmm. you're you're lined up. It's lined up in a way where you're not sinning against God, because God is gonna judge sin. Amen. And what is the punishment for sin? The wages of sin is death, and the gift of God is eternal, eternal life. life in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. So I, I I urge you choose eternal life. <laughs> My God. Because you know on the other side there will be punishment for sin amen amen so the new covenant the people of god had failed to keep the law in their natural strength mm. in a water shield moment um god promised to put the law inside of them instead written on their heart the holy spirit provided the promoting and correction yeah. needed to please god in accordance with his standard wow the holy spirit within you it will correct you no Amen. wonder why david said in in one of the, the, the book of psalms your word have i hid in my heart so, I won't sin so that i will you. not sin against you amen yes it's got to be in the heart amen it's got to be in the heart amen praise god and um jeremiah faithfulness so Jeremiah demonstrates faithfulness to God and is calling in the face of a strong disapproval and intense, even violent right. opposition. He experienced what all who desire to live faithfully with God will experience. Woo, wait a minute. Mm. Opposition. Yeah. Amen. Listen, we see it um, when Jesus was on the earth and it still is now. The church is still being persecuted for righteousness sake. Yes. But the word of God said, blessed is is is." They blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be full. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we, the church, gonna always suffer uh, persecution. Why? The world want to do what they want to do, and, want you and to they accept don't. It. They don't want the correction of God. They don't want to hear nothing about God because God's law is live right, do right, <laughs> but yeah. man rather evil than good that's the word or do it my way right do it my way that's that's <laughs> dangerous we can't do it our way we got to do it god way amen yeah amen so um where am i he experienced what all who desire to live faithfully with god will experience rejection and persecution right right and we could find that in luke and acts and timothy i can imagine them saying oh this prophet of god acting like he's holier than thou who is he to, mm. to, to come and prophesy telling us of, of God judgment and, God. and his love and his they don't want to hear that they wow. want to they want to continue to be rebellious and they want to continue to live in sin and do what they want to do but when God judgment is upon you mm. your heart open your heart and, and receive it because at the end of the day who can destroy both the body and the soul? My God. Praise God. Amen. God. So make sure that we are taking heed to the word of God. And uh, also, even this day we're living in, we might not have a whole, a lot of prophets, but God have preachers and prophets all over the mm -hmm. world. Please take heed to the word of God. Take heed to what the man of, because you know the truth. You know when they're speaking of, of, of truth, despite, you know. Yes. Because the truth is in you and, and, and the truth will reveal itself. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you're receiving the word of God with your hope and heart when, you, when the word is, is being preached. Amen. Mm. We don't want to be rebellious, stiff-necked and hard-headed. Oh, God. Amen. Amen. So um, um, the true success as message are measured by God involve obedience and faithfulness mm -hmm. regardless of opposition and personal oh, cause we was obedient to um i'm sorry he was obedient to his call in jeremiah um book begin with the call to to um unite judah the southern kingdom amen so jeremiah was uniting the people he was mm -hmm. preaching the the goodness of the lord amen mm -hmm. praise god all right 
So, um, chapter 26 to 45, Jeremiah proclaimed Judah's rejection of the Lord's word and the fall of Jerusalem mm -hmm. and the hope of um, Israel's future restoration. If you read chapter 26 to 45, you will see that. Right. Amen. And um, also, too, you know, there was a point in Jeremiah's life where he was feeling like <clears throat> he was feeling like um, nobody was hearing him. Nobody was pretty much hearing the gospel. Mm -hmm. But glory to God, once you're doing, as, as the prophet of God, once you're doing the will of God, don't worry about the response of the people. <laughs> as long as you're it. preaching truth, as long as you're declaring what thus say the Lord. Amen. We don't have to, as, as, as prophet and ministers and, and pastors, as myself, we don't have to... Um, um, see that that the result with our hide we just got to do the work that the lord proclaim said. the word of god in mm -hmm. love in yeah. love we got to do it in love right proclaim it in love and watch god do it amen yes. he, even if it don't look right seems like feel like watch god get the result out of it amen my god amen amen all right so, so we're gonna wrap it up yeah, yeah we're gonna wrap it up listen guys read the book of jeremiah yourself it, it's um it's very good it's a very good um journey Jeremiah was young. He didn't feel worthy. Mm -hmm. Praise God. But yet still God call him. Mm -hmm. Young man, I call on you because you're strong. Yes. God call who, whoever he feel like. Amen. Yes. So um, don't watch anyone. the age. Don't watch your, your title or Ooh. what you, your critiques or what you have. Praise God. If God call you, yeah. I don't care if you're a fool fool. I don't care <laughs> if you was once um, eaten out of garbage um like for example a homeless my god don't, don't judge that god can turn it around and he can use anybody or is good amen and our, our, our response is as you said you can use anybody if you can use anything lord we should be available to say god okay use me lord mm -hmm. yeah open our heart let, let him use us amen. amen so we can show his love across the world amen amen god love you you be blessed on this father's day Happy Father's Day to all the Father. Happy Father's Day to you, darling. Thank you, thank you. And I want to say Happy Father's Day to God, my Father. You're a good, 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 good father. father. That's who you are. That's who <laughs> he is, guys. He's a good father. Amen. Amen. And we love him. And we, we pray for you that um, you'll continue to live the life the Lord has called you to live. Amen. 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 Come out of sin. Come out of whatever is not like God. Just come out of it and allow God to come in come into your heart amen? amen god bless amen so next week we go into lamentations yes amen it's very short we were gonna double it up but we're just gonna stay and then ezekiel you think we should do lamentation and ezekiel together mm. because lamentation is like five chapters yeah. <laughs> let's just do lamentation, lamentation. <laughs> And then on some weeks, we're going to double up. After Ezekiel, we're going to double up some of those right. ones. Mm -hmm. But to God be the glory. Thank you for watching.